Hello, everybody. Mm. Today we're doing Saurians. And alcohol. And alcohol. I have, I've already consumed my, uh, like, uh, two, three portions of alcohol. Lauren's walking Drink responsibly. Drink, yeah. Drink responsibly. Like right before streaming. Yes. That's very responsible. Not driving, streaming. streaming. Drink and stream. It's good for you. Yeah. Um, again, uh, I've been invited to SAS Council to do some... Uh, Sassing around. Sassing around. And I'm doing my preliminary, preliminary SAS rating on my own. And then we will talk uh, with the other SAS members about exactly what uh, what's going to be the final rating. She's doing it on her own. I'm making, I'm making like weird comments and occasionally getting hyped about stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the braining. She's doing the fun. <laughs> kind of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, that's my, my, my ratings here are not going to be final in any way. It's just my initial evaluation. So don't go make crazy purchases based on this. Or do. I like how consistent that's you are. up to you. <laughs> I'm cons- Okay, that's bullshit. I'm not consistent for shit. Okay, let's let's. I'm a combo person. Beware the ides, 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 ides of Mars. Yes, ides. Yes, beware the ides. Action. One pip. Play. Deal twenty three damage to. Okay, I'm guessing it's two or three. No way is that twenty three damage. No, it's twenty three. That's I've seen the skull already. Deal 23 damage to the kitchen in the center of its controller's battle line. Uh, what if you have uh, four creatures? Do you don't have a creature in the center of your battle You're right, then this doesn't do anything. That sucks. Well, it has and an ember pit. Still give it a kitchen control of one, because like, it's probably going to do something. No, it's a disruption. It's not a creature. It's an action. Huh? Let's see. Creature control. Oh, okay. Although you might need to discard it in some cases, I'm gonna give it a 0 0.9. Yeah, 0 0.9. I don't know if we even work with those kinds of numbers, but I just. I just yeah, let's do that now. Who cares? Citizen Shrieks, which is kind of like Senator Shrieks, but apparently they're now a citizen. And the mutant. And the mutant. Play, reap, exalt, citizen. Sh 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 Citizen Tricks. Steal one amber. I'm apparently better at pronouncing things when I drink. And I'm worse. Yeah, I love it. It's interesting. It's kind of... Okay, so... We Is anybody watching us? No. Okay. Uh, so we're exulting. So that's like minus half. And we're stealing. So that's... Plus half. A one. Will you... Is there any situation where you wouldn't want to do this? Not really. Um... Like right, because like you play, and it's bas it's bas it's basically capture with extra strips. Yeah. Uh huh. It's like I take one amber from you, and put it on my creature. And then another and amber, I and put it in my. No, but I also gain one. So that's kind of. It's weird. Yeah, it is. So it's kind of like a capture. But I also gain an amber. So this is like a 0 0.5 and a 1. And that's only on the play. And you might be able to use it more than once. Uh, it's a free power creature. I yeah, I'll still give it, it a little... survive. It's not very survivable. No, but I'll still give it a 0 0.25 on each. Just, like, you know, it could happen. Okay. And then a creature power is 0 0.3. Cool. I'm, I'm interested in this card. I'm not crazy about it. Consul Primus. Primus. Fuck you. Consul, fuck you. Consul, fuck you. Dino. Free power. Enhance. Capture. Reap. Move one amber from a creature to another creature. It's kind of like the equalize in... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, will you get to reap with a three power creature? I'm gonna give it an amber control of like a zero point... 25. No, it also has a capture uh, icon, so 0 0.75. And yeah, that's it. It's the power of uh, 0 0.3. Not a very exciting card. Well, the only thing it could be exciting about is like if you move, like if you exalt stuff and then you just move it over to your, you know, to your opponent's creatures and kill them off. 
Yeah. But yeah, it's very situational. Cornison, Corni, Cornison, Octavia. Five power, one armor. Action, capture two. Oh, that's cute. That's slightly less shitty than Bold and the Redeem, but it's still pretty shitty. She fat. Shitty. Fat. Shitty. It's a shit card. Next. Again, depends on how you use it. No, it's shit. Okay. You're critical today. Yeah, apparently I'm critical when I'm drunk. Uh, Curse of Vanity. Action. Pip. Is nice. Play. Exalt a friendly creature and an enemy creature. I like it. I'll give it an expected amber of 0 0.25 and uh, no, 1. Point twenty five and call it a day. I don't see how this card is good. I do. Okay. Dimosau Dimosau Dim uh play, you may exalt to deal three damage, <coughs> destroy steal one. Okay, so that's uh zero point blah, 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 blah. so it's uh zero point five and zero point seven five and a creature control of 0 0.5 0 and 0.4 and 0.4 Cute. defense initiative play water creature you may exalt that creature if you exalt it ward its neighbors oh i like that that's that's now that's a good card i i see why there's no amber pip on it did we did we um i keep forgetting how much uh Effective power this one gets uh, 1.5. Okay, so this will be like a two, two, and an exalt is like a zero point uh, minus minus zero point twenty five. I think we have a viewer. Look. Oh no! <gasps> oh, do somebody's watching us being. Drunk and oh Nathan, hello Nathan. Hello Nathan, watching us being drunk and looking at cards. Is he the one organizing this this thing? Organizing the no no different Nathan. Oh okay, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, that's so confusing. This is, this is Nathan from Tabletop Royale. Hello Nathan from Ta Tabletop Royale. They're okay. like uh, two players uh, that do the highest quality live streaming of mm -hmm, games mm -hmm. with like the camera on the table and. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen those things. Yeah, and Nathan Westlake is the Nathan that does uh, Dex of Keyfold and he's on Team Sass. Okay, so yeah, you need to clarify which Nathan we're speaking of. What's he writing? Uh, he's not Westlake. Uh, who? What? He's not Westlake. Westlake, okay, right. <laughs> you know the Nathans, me and names. Ugh. No. All right, okay. Post the Great. Uh, power 4. Uh, not your that opponent's great. keys cost plus 1 amber for each friendly creature with amber on it oh that's disgusting play you may that's exalt a friendly cute. creature yeah that works wonderfully i'm gonna give it like uh whatever retro is right. oh. it's a retro golem is an amber control of 0 0.25 to 1. i'll just give it a one i give it more i would not it's not an action it's not a reap yeah, but it's a flimsy creature with four, four power. Unless you ward the fucker. But you can't take it to account of you warding it on the creature itself. Yeah, I guess. Sorry for the... Get out talks. people walking. 12 power, beast. Geltops deals four damage when fighting. Oh, it doesn't come stunts into play. It's fat and it doesn't come stunned into play. That's neat. Pretty neat, yeah. I mean, it doesn't... What's the effective power of a try, 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 The effective power is 0 0.8. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll give it the same effective power. I'd give it more. Why? It only does power for that we're fighting. Okay. But it's just a creature. Okay, legit. Uh, monument oh, to Ludo. Artifact. Auction. Move one ever from a creature to the common pool. If perfect, perfectus Ludo is in your discard pile, move two ember instead. It's an unexalt. Yeah, it's like the library. 
לך לשמונה עשרה. אין לי הרבה ליברים. זה אדם שבדקתי, כי כל פעם הייתי, אין הזמנות, לא נכנסתי לשום דבר. אתה לא יכול לעשות חלוקה ידנית כשאין לך הזמנות. אוקיי, אז אנחנו נגיד בעצם את זה הדבר הזה. כן, אני חושב שזה הדבר הזה. בשביל שיהיה הזמנות אתה צריך לעשות הזמנות חדשות. כמו שאמרתי, אני אמנע את הלחיצה, זאת אומרת, הלחיצה פשוט לא תעשה כלום. חלון חלוקה ידנית לא צריך לעלות כשאין הזמנות לחלק. So you deal damage to your opponent's kitchen mm-hmm. and then you're exalted. So it has an expected amber of another like 3.5 and a creature control of 25 or something like that. Yeah, that's good enough. Spoils of battle. Good name. Play. Friendly creatures capture one amber. F a friendly creature capture one's amber. Each creature with amber on it captures one amber from its opponent. So if you have a very fast story on board with lots of exalted creatures, yeah, capture even more. It's in two sentences, so first you capture an amber and then it captures another one, so at minimum it's like an attempt of a list. Yeah, at the minimum. But it can be more. Turns out it was what, one? Yeah. That's one. So we give it a one to 2.5. Blast from the past. I like it. Exalt. A friendly, exalt a friendly creature. Archive a sovereign creature from your discard pile. Deal damage to an enemy creature equal to the power of the archive creature. Well, that can be fun if you archive that fat guy with the 12 power. Something's dead. Yeah, Pandemonium is analog. This, this pan... Pandemonium is uh, 0.25 to 1. That's, that's, that's not great. There's maybe, also the archiving. The archiving can be no, really, really meaningful. No, I'm talking about the pre- pre- previous cards. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh, I yeah, yeah, uh, Okay, so... You archive creature that gives you efficiency. Okay, So and creature control. Efficiency and creature control. So I think it's a one. I agree. Yeah, that's, that's neat. Yeah, it's cute. It's good. It's good. Uh, Curia Saurus. Curia. Curia Saurus. Each creature with amber on it is destroyed. Move one amber from this creature to the most powerful enemy creature. That's interesting. That's really interesting. But it's symmetrical. I have no idea how to read this. It's, it's fantastic. Right. It's wonderful. I love it. Look, here's what happens, okay? Uh, again, this is a Saurian artifact. You have a Saurian board full of stuff with amber on it, okay? And then you take a creature. Oh, sorry. And then you use this... You don't even need to do it. No, wait. Each creature with amber on it. Okay, so you have a bunch of creatures that have amber on them. So when they're destroyed, then the, the amber on them doesn't necessarily all go back to okay. the other person. One of them is moved to... Okay, so it's not that great. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not that great at all. I'll My give bad. it a 0.5 and an expected amber of 0.5 and call it a day. Legit. It's not very good. Dark Centurion. I mean, it should be a range. It's probably 0. It's, it's probably like 0 to 1. 0 to 1. It does let you crush your board into the enemy board. Yeah, it does. It does. It's kind of like... Uh, yeah. Still, it's not great. I think. In my opinion. 
Uh, Dark Centurion, 5 power, enhance capture capture action, move one amber from a creature to the common supply. If you do, ward that creature. I love it. Oh, that's nice. I love it. Well, it's an action, so it's slow. How is it an action? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, first we have a capture capture, and then we have a... Move one amber from a creature to the common supply. If you do, all that creature. So it has another amber control of like 1.25 and uh, power of like an additional. Uh, yeah, let's play that. Deadbone. Dreadbone. De Dreadbone. Decimus. Decimus. Five power dinosaur. Play fight. You make Zold. Dreadbone. Decimus. If you do, destroy a creature with lower power than Dreadbone Decimus. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, that's that's nice creature control. Yeah. Um, so, minus 0 0.25 for the Exalt. And creature control of... Give it a 1. Okay, there's lots of fallen creatures. Yeah. Yep. Glad Gladiontus. Gladiodontus. Gladiodontus? There's another don't. Oh, yeah, there's another don't in there. The, Gladiodontus. There's a Gladiodontus and Gladiodontus. Is there? No, there isn't. There, isn't. there really isn't. I checked. <laughs> there isn't a Gladiodontus. There isn't a Gladiodontus. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Gladius, Gladiodontis enters play stun. Gladiodontis only deals 5 damage when fighting. Fight reap. If this is the first time Gladiodontis has been used this turn, ready and enrage it. Oh dear. It's fat and it's angry. So you can reap and then fight. Yeah. And then it's basically double use, which is pretty good. It's a 15 power creature. Yeah, yeah. but it enters play stunned. Okay, so then you unstun it and then you fight with it. So this one gives. Wait, it un is unstunning considered a thing? Like, it enters place. No, it's a fine trip. Oh right, so that wouldn't help. That sucks. Okay. Oh, we'll give it a create a power of uh, one. Yeah, that makes sense. And the fine trip thingy is like an expected amber. No, it just kind of balances itself out. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Uh, it I kind of wants to fight in the second. But in the first thing. one, it wants to reap. So I, I I'd actually give it a I'd give it like a zero point twenty five amber. Hedonistic intent. <laughs> I don't know what hedonistic hedonistic means. What does a hedonistic mean? It means you need to go go hedonistic right the fuck now. And hedonistic. Uh, hedonism is a school of thought that argues seeking pleasure and avoiding suffering are the only components of well-being. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm hedonistic, I guess. You really, really, really are. <laughs> <laughs> and which is why I insisted that you Google it because, like, this is a thing like you need to use in your self-definition. Yeah, I'm hedonistic. And opulent. Opulent. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I'm drunk. Go on. Uh, play exalt each flank creature. Neat. So it. Mm, yeah, neat. 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 Like so, it basically balances out in theory. But since you're playing Saurians, that could be good for you, and bad for your opponent. Though they might also be playing Saurians, and you could also play it when you don't have any creatures, and then exalt more creatures of your opponent than your own. So I'm going to give it an, ex an, an uh, expected amber of 0 0.25 to like 1.5. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Humble. Humble. Action. Pip. You know what humble means, right? No. You don't know what <laughs> <laughs> Had a mistake, you don't know, but humble you do. How cute. How quaint. Go on. 
uh, play exhausted creature if you do move free amber from that creature to the common supply oh that's cute uh, so it's like kind of like amber control so I can give it a one three amber yeah but you need to exhaust the creature so humility is the <laughs> second greatest attribute <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I'm gonna use that. Humility is my second greatest attribute. <laughs> so an egg. One power. One amber pip. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Uh, five five ammo. Okay, okay. The Sorian egg. The Sorian egg. The Sorian egg? Not Sorian egg. The Sorian egg. Cannot fight a rip. Omni, discard the top two cards of your deck. If you discard any Sorian creatures this way, put them into play ready. Give them three plus one counters and destroy Sorian Egg. Damn! Imagine this with like a Star Alliance ordering top oh, deck. Nonsense. Yeah, yeah, that can get really annoying. Or you can just like upgrade the crap out of this thing. Huh? You could like... Put upgrade on it. And? And... Why is that good? To protect other creatures by making it killable? No? What? Never mind. Ignore me. Never mind. It can't fight or reap. You yes. only can use the up the, the Omni. You discard the top cards of your deck. If you discard any certain kitchens, you put them into play and give them three plus one plus counters. Yeah. And then you destroy the egg. And if you don't, you don't. You don't what? Destroy it. Sure you do. Oh, no, you don't. Exactly. So if, so it's the same sentence. If you discard any soul and creatures this way, do stuff and destroy it. Combos well with the archiving all creature cards from the discard. Oh, yeah. That's oh, nice one. yeah. From the disc. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah well, I like it more with the, with the Star Alliance. Yeah, like, when like you can... You, like if you have that uh, the fighting into the top yeah, that, uh, what's his name? Yeah. You can organize your cards and then just like... No, not Ali. The the combined uh, Star Alliance cards. That they are the half and half things. Like the Dino Bot and the Dino Theme and the Dino... Oh, that bullshit. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So the Star Alliance one lets you... If, if after you fight, you look at the top three... Uh, creatures, one in your hand, one at the top of your deck, and one at the bottom. So yeah, that can that like, confusing uh, bullshit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, this will give you potential effective power of it has an effective power of zero point six on its own, although it cannot fight, it cannot reach. So I, I guess it reduces a little, and then you get the power token. So I guess I'll give it a zero point eight. Although it's a bit weird. Yeah. And then I will give it some efficiency. For playing cards, so on the top of your deck, let's give it efficiency of. It can play, can use it every turn, that's pretty neat. Yeah, and no matter what house you pick. I'll give it a number one. I pretty like this card. Mm -hmm, it's neat. Xeno, mutants, yeah. Uh, Senator Quintina. <laughs> you think she replaced uh, Shrix? I don't know. You can have more than one senator, you know, in the Senate. No, Shrix is now a citizen. Doesn't matter. You can have more than one senator. Yeah, but... What? But... but senator Shrix is no longer a senator. He got... Demoted. Demoted. To alternatively. A alternatively. And, and Quintina got, got voted in. Well, who was she before? A, a citizen Quintina. Was there a citizen Quintina? She was not wealthy. Oh my god, that's, <laughs> that's just wrong. Okay. Five Sen power. After a creature reaps, exalted. Oh, that's fun. That's kind of like an ammo control thingy. Yeah. Uh, but it's symmetrical. It's kind of similar to... Uh, Mongrel. So this one gives an expected ammo of one. And this one only exalts, so it's slightly less. This is very poorly scored. 
Amber Spine War Grill is way better than an ASCF2. Well, that's check if the other Nathan's watching. Uh, after Gitter Gears, it's got to the an Amber Control of 0 0.5 and an expected Amber of 0. No, I'll give it an expected Amber of 1 and a 0 0.5 here. Okay, Siren Horn. Saurian upgrade, expected amber 1. This creature gains before fight, move 1 amber from this creature to the creature it fights. Cute. Have an amber. <laughs> Catch this! <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, uh, it's cute. It's cute. I mean, I like it thematically. Uh, does this give anything? Like, what is was this? Like, 0, 2... 0 0.5 and uh, 1 to 1 1.5 something ish. Amorph Amorpha Captura. Amorpha Captura. <laughs> Enhance. It's uh, an artifact. Is that an amber? Amber, amber, damage, damage, draw, draw. That's when resolving a bonus icon, you may choose to resolve it as a capture bonus icon instead. Uh -huh. Okay, so first of all, it gives uh, some control. It gives a deficiency of 1. It gives a creature control of 0 0.5. And that's it. No, it also gives an expected number of 1. No, 2. That's, that's pretty neat. Oh, we have more viewers. Two viewers. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Who they be? Oh, my goodness. That's like a bunch of them. Oh, no. Ooh, Star the Simugas. Hello. Hello, Thank you for new joining. viewers. Thank you for watching me being drunk. Uh, Crystal Current. Crystal Current. That sounds like a drag queen name. Drag queen name. Raw Amber. One. Play. Exalt each mission creatures. I'll mm -hmm, give it I don't like it. Amber of uh, one, two, two, and call it day. No, it's a shade away. I don't like it. Form of giants. Expected amber. At the start of your turn, the player who controls the creature with the highest power gains one amber. It's symmetrical, but you can kind of control it, so I'll give it a one point five. Reminds me of a grump buggy. Actually, it should be a range. It should be a range with a one to two. If you have like a one two two, not three. Because if you have like a lot of high powered creatures, then like those fat power. asses, like the 15. And fat asses. Fat asses. High priest Torvus. Reap. Uh, Torvus. You may exalt high priest Torvus. If you do, after you resolve your neck action card this turn, return it to your hand instead of placing your discard bar. So it double actions, and that's efficiency. So it's gonna give uh, efficiency of um, 0 0.5 to 1.5 based on the amount of actions you have, I guess. Legion's March. Raw Amber 1. Play for the remainder of the turn. After you use a dinosaur creature, deal 1 damage to each non dinosaur creature. Mm. Uh, I don't a, like it. It's a creature control. It's anti. Synergetic. Like if you have creatures from another house, they're fucked. Yeah. I'm gonna give it an amber control of 0 0.75 because you might discard this. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Oh wait, it's not alpha. So you can all play it after you use your other Mm-hmm. So you always get always get to pick. Nero Nero Taurus. Nero Taurus. Six power fight. Enemy creatures cannot reap during your opponent's next turn. Reap? reap? Enemy mm, creatures cannot, cannot fight. fight I like that. That's very, uh, I like it. I like it. Uh, I'll give this disruption of... It's very disruptive. One. No, I like this card. It's cute. I'll also give it a amber control of 0 0.5. How much is a uh, phone bank? Phone bank? 
Fong. Fong Bank. Fong. Uh, I don't know. No, that's Fogify. Fong Bank is the other one. It's the same card. <laughs> yep. Why do we always get the BP cards whenever we're trying to stream? BP cards. So it doesn't give this option, it gives other. Okay, fine, I'll put it in the other. Miscellaneous. Optiogorcus. Optiogorcus. Three power, three armor. Elusive. Each of Optiogorcus's neighbors gain. Destroyed. Move each amber on this creature to a neighboring Optiogorcus. Huh. Okay, so when your neighbors die, he's gonna hold the amber. Yeah. Eh. Unless you put another Optiogorcus next to it. Why? 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 Why, why do I want to do this? What do you mean? <laughs> why is this good? If you have another one of them? No, why Why is this card good? Like, why... It's elusive. Why do I want to move the amber from its neighbors onto itself? Because it's elusive, and because you exalted them to fuck for some reason. Okay, so they die and he grabs the amber. Yeah. And he's elusive. And if there's another Optio Gorkus next a lot more, you know, it, you would need to fight four times to get that stupid amber. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go with like a 0 0.5 here, because this card is pretty shitty. Uh, okay, you say so, I don't think it's shitty. Patron edge. Patron edge. Play, move half the amber from a creature to your pool, rounding up. Move the remaining amber from that creature to your opponent's pool. Okay, let's let's split the amber on that creature. Yeah, that's interesting. I like it. One for me, one for you. One for me, one for you. Mm. But it's rounding up. So if there's nine it's amber, up, up for me and then downing down for you. So exactly. That's one, so if there's two, one, two, one, two. So like if there's nine amber, you get five. Your opponent gets four. Yeah. Why and are you excited about this odd number thing? Because if, let's say, both have zero, and there's a creature with nine, it, you could be in check by getting another pip at the end of this check. Why would there be a creature with nine amber on it? <laughs> it happened. No. Capture all of your opponent's yeah. amber. I'm going to give it a 0 0.5 to 1.5 based on stuff. Based on stuff. Magic. Uh, Sila. Sila. Seven power beast. Each creature gains reap, deal four damage to this creature. Hmm. So it's kind of suicidal. That's what, uh, what's the Gabuk? Not Gabuk, what's the other one? No, it's not a Gabuk. It's, um, it's the this creature that makes Ember Imp, not the Ember Imp. Uh, one of the... Shard, Soul... No, the one that you have to sacrifice the creature after it reaps. Yes, yeah, soul shard. No. Shard. That's not a shard. It is a shard. No, it's not. It's a creature. Yeah, blood shard. Right, blood shard imp. I told you it was an imp. I thought it was a blood shard. <laughs> oh, gods. Uh, this gives a uh, creature control of 0 to 0 0.5. Defective power, creature bonus. Yeah, this is pretty, like... Hey, what's the, what's the new... Um, The untamed one called. Uh, if it's new, then it's way lower. Yeah. Here. Kang, Kang Fan. Right. That Same one. 0 0.0. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's okay. Zero to it's very similar. It's also just as fat. And power 0 0.7. And, and next. it's fat. Yes. Charibdis. Bless you. Um, seven power. Each enemy creature gains before fight lose one amber. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the previous one as well. It's each enemy creature gains. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Okay, we'll give it a 0 0.5 to 1. Next, Lycosaurus. Wait, wait, I don't... Uh, wait, 
I, I disagree with the uh, with with what you did with uh, cherry this true this that one. Why? Because each enemy creature gains before fight lose one amber. Yes. That's potentially amber control. No, it's not. It's not. No, the only way that your opponent is gonna lose amber doing that is if they insist on fighting for some reason. Like so, it's like a fog. So it's worse than a fog. So a fog. Okay, gotcha. I see. Doesn't okay. allow you to fight. And this way, they can fight if they really want to. So it's worse than a fog. It gives mm -hmm. your opponents more options. Unless they have no amber and then screw it. And yeah, exactly. So it's worse than a fog. Yeah. Okay. Lycosol skirmish. Uh, play. You may exalt Lycosol. So you do deal damage. Blah blah blah. So it's a, uh, amber con uh, creature control zero point five. Uh, minus zero point twenty five. Uh, what? It's also skirmish. Yeah, the skirmish just gives a defective power. Okay. Monument to Forst. Who's Action. That? Your opponent's keys cost plus one. Next turn, if Forst the Great is in your discard pile, they cost plus two instead. That's a really bad. Lash. Yeah, very bad. Really bad lash. Horrible lash. Like one of those lashes that gets stuck right in your, you know. My lash. So this is a two point five. Oh my god! Look how many viewers we have. Oh my god! Four. Uh, so this is gonna we'll get a one point. Nearly as excited as I am. One point. No one. Point five. Wow, this is bad. Okay, monument to Octavia. Action: Friendly creature captures one. If Octavia is in your discard pile, it Same captures shit. two instead. Same shit. So this is kind of like a shard of hope. 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 Yeah, it's copy. Zero point five. Yes, it's bad, 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 bad. Monument to Primus. Move one amber from a friendly creature to another friendly creature. If Consul Primus in your discard pile, move one amber from a creature to another creature instead. So bad. Quite, yes. So bad. 0 0.25 and 0 0.5. No other way around. No, just... Oh my god, this is so bad. I feel bad about getting a half point of uh, of sass, but it's bad. <laughs> it's horrible. This is better. Uh, you can spend Amber on Monument Shrix if you're in your pool. Action, move Amber from the Shrix. If Citizen Shrix is in your discard pile, move on Amber from any pool to Monument Shrix instead. Okay, so if you have Shrix in your discard pile, it's basically steal one. Otherwise, and if you don't, it's, it's basically a hideaway hole. Yeah, or a safe space. One yeah. of those. Safe space, not hideaway. The base. What? Um. Ah, it's not a space. It's a place. Yeah, not base place. Whatever. Not a panpaka. <laughs> Play. Play. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, nobody, nobody, nobody is seeing this. Yeah, Play don't face. drink and now. Um, okay, so this one gives them an amber pip. Mm -hmm. The pocket universe does not. So it's basically a pocket universe. Yeah. So it's a uh, amber amber. Protection. We don't have any protection anymore, so we put it in the other as a 0 0.5, and the expected number is a 0 0.5, and we call it a day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, I, t I told um, uh, Justice Blinded that this card is like not that bad, and he was like, "No, it's really, really bad." And it's yeah, pretty it's, bad. it's bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And apparently, it's bad. It's pretty bad. Sacrosaurus. 
uh, so it's a minus uh, da, da, and a creature control of uh, 0.5 and an effective power of a lot. All kinds of sauruses. Oh, it's like the knights. Oh, it's the okay. Yeah, it's I see the what they're doing there. Yeah, the mutant creature bunches. Yeah, I don't like it. Reap this card card from your hand, so that's the efficiency one. And this card goes here, and this is the same. And you get elusive, so it's. Uh, oh wait, I forgot the, the power is. Uh, 0.5. Yeah, okay, so these bore me, so I'm gonna go have a smoke. Okay, and this is a 0.7. Oh, we know, we know it was viewers. Some people went away because we were boring. Yeah, boring ass Saurians. Boy ass Saurians. I, I fucking hate Saurians. Uh, and the creature control. Oops. And the power is 0 0.5. And it has that efficiency thing, and it's kind of survivable, so it gets an efficiency of 1. And we have the Osiris. Uh, play with uh, Okay, so we give this an efficiency of uh, minus one. Minus 1.5. What, what's the name of the Logos one? This one. Ultra Graviton. Oh, but this gives an efficiency. Right, so it's not the same. I give it a minus 1.5 and capture all your opponent's amber. So that's an uh, amber control of like 3. And a creature control of 1. And I feel like I need to increase this. Effective power of two. Damn, that is a higher ERC. Of four. Bow nothing. Oh, it's shadows. Oh, we're done with the Sorians. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, might stream some more uh, later doing the shadows things, but we'll take a break for now. Uh, yeah, awesome. Thank you. You want to say goodbye? To the viewers. What? Why? We're done with the science. We are? Yeah. Oh, thank the gods. I hate science. Yeah, so we might do uh, like uh, the shadows later. Yeah, depending on how drunk I get. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. See ya. Brad.